Hi everybody, glad to meet you all again. Welcome back to my tutorial on Android Framework Component Part 8. In this tutorial, we will learn about Android Package Manager Framework. This is Dimple here. So let's go ahead. Package Manager class is used for retrieving various kinds of information related to application packages that are currently installed on the device. So package manager actually manages all this installation, uninstallation or upgradation of applications in your device. Package manager framework will provide various methods for querying and manipulating the installed packages and related permissions. So if you want to know more details about how, about all the packages installed in your device or if you want to manipulate any packages installed on your device then you have to use package manager framework and this get package manager class is used for retrieving various kinds of information related to application packages that are currently installed on your device so remember this class called get package manager now all the information about installed packages where is it stored all this information about installed packages is stored in an xml file which is present at this particular location data system packages dot xml so this file will contain all the information about the installed applications or packages so when we install an apk file package manager will pass the package apk file and displays a confirmation you all might have seen when you all try to install an apk file in your device you get a confirmation dialog so when the user press the ok button the package manager will call the method called install package so once this package manager will call install package it is like confirming that you have to install the apk and when install package is called your apk or your package will be installed now your apk will be installed but where are these apk files stored in android all the applications which are built in in your device are stored in this location called slash system slash app folder and all the applications which are developed by the user are stored in slash data slash application folder in this particular path and you may also include some of the databases some of the shared preferences native libraries cache data all of these are stored in this particular location called data directory slash data along with your package name so this location will be created by package manager how package manager will store data we all know package manager will have lots of data about different applications installed in your system but where exactly this data is stored so package manager will store its data across three different files the first file is packages.xml file so all the details about your installed packages and all your permissions for those packages are present in this file called packages.xml so packages.xml will contain information about the installed packages and permissions of those packages this permissions will have three different attributes the first attribute is name the second attribute is package and the third attribute is protection so by default the value for this attribute called package will always be android by default the next file where the package manager will store its data is packages list so this is a simple text file containing the package name containing the user ids if there are any flags those flags are also present in this particular package it is it is nothing but this package dot list is nothing but it provides faster lookup of all your installed packages there will be many applications installed in your device if you want to have a quick lookup of all the applications of all the details of all the applications installed in your system then you can go through this packages.list text file 
the third file where package manager will store data is packages stop.xml so this is again an xml file which contains package list which has stop states which means that all the packages which are not installed successfully you can get those details about the packages which are not installed successfully in this particular xml file next we'll see what is install d in install d daemon so install d is nothing but it is a daemon we all know that daemons are continuous processes which run in the background so install d's role is to receive request from a package manager service via linux domain socket so whenever package manager wants to install any package or apk that time we package manager will call the install d daemon through a socket which is present in this particular location device slash socket slash install d and this install d daemon executes a series of steps to install the apk with root permission so next we will see how to install an apk the installation procedure of an apk so first when we want to install we add a particular apk or a package to the queue next package manager will determine the location for this package installation it will decide where this apk must be installed so once the package manager will decide the location of package installation a copy of apk file to a given directory to a given location wherever location it has decided to that location apk file will be copied so once the location is determined and once you have a copy of apk file in that particular directory in that particular location the next step is to determine the uid of the application we all know that there will be multiple applications in your device so each of these application will be given a unique id so when you when you are installing a new apk that apk2 is given a unique id so that unique id will be determined in the next step so you have your unique id for your apk and you have a location where that apk should be installed the next step is to request the install d daemon process so whenever package manager has to install an application it cannot do it do on its own package manager will always depend on this daemon install d daemon to install the apk file so this install d daemon's role is to receive the request from the package manager service so when package manager will request to install the application install d is called okay next create application directory and set permissions so for this application create a directory and set the required permissions next step is to reflect the latest changes in packages dot list so once your application is installed that means once your install d is requested your application will be installed so once your application is installed that data or details about the new application should be reflected in your packages dot list right because this packages dot list is the file which will provide me details of all the applications installed so i update that packages dot list then the last step is to broadcast to the system along with the name of the effect of installation once the installation is complete so once i finish my installation i will broadcast an intent to the system telling i have completed the installation there are two types of intents action package added so this intent will be broadcasted if i am installing the new apk for the first time whereas action package replaced will be broadcasted if i am updating any apk which is previously installed say for example i have an application i am up just updating that application that time i call this intent this intent will be broadcasted so that was all about package manager framework i hope you all enjoyed it please stay tuned in with my next tutorials thanks for watching bye